Okay, those are uh, a couple of properties. We, we will sort of develop other properties later on. Uh, another one uh, is that rotation matrices preserve rotations and therefore our rotation matrices preserve lengths of vectors they act upon Uh, they also preserve angles between vectors they act upon. So, example. Uh, I'll let you guys think about it in detail. Say you have a vector v in 3D in some coordinate space. Uh, let's say vx, vy, vz. Um, then rv, you get a new vector, let's say. u equals rv, uh, where u is ux, uy, uz. Now the length of v or the magnitude of v is basically square root of vx square plus vy square plus vz square which is if you think about it is the same as v transpose v so think about what v transpose v is and you will notice that it's going to be vx square plus vy square plus vz square which is the same as well, um, okay, that's V transpose V. Let's say what what is uh, magnitude of U. U is square root of U transpose U. Um, it's going to be basically square root of UX square plus UY square plus UZ square equals square root of u transpose u and then and I would like you to check that and that's going to be equal to uh, square root of um, u is r v transpose another u is r v um, if you have two matrices A and B, and then you do whole transpose of that, that's going to be equal to B transpose A transpose. That's something that uh, you can sort of look up. Um, so this becomes V transpose R transpose, this thing, times R V, and that becomes V transpose R transpose R V, but R transpose R is basically identity. So we have V I V, which is square root of V transpose V, and that's equal to magnitude of V, okay? So what does that mean? That's actually a very simple idea. And all that it means is that if you have some vector V uh, and you have another vector U, equals rv uh, then 
the magnitude of u is the same as magnitude of v. Okay, and that's all that says, um, uh, which which uh, comports with uh, the idea that R represents a rotation. Rotations don't change lengths; all they change are uh, well the orientation. Um, similarly. If you have two vectors, um, v1, v2, um, and you get u1 equals r v1, u2 equals r v2, then you can show that v1 transpose v2 will be equal to u1 transpose u2. Okay, uh, this is you can show this. using exactly the same idea. And this basically implies that the angle between vectors um, v1 and v2 equals angle between vectors u1 and u2, okay? Okay, so those are some basic properties of um, rotation matrices uh, and rotations as linear transformations in general. Uh, let me briefly comment on uh, one last thing before we end this video. Um, let's say we have a sequence of rotations So we have frame zero, and you go from frame zero to let's say frame one using rotation um, zero to one. And then you have something like this. You go to frame two using some rotation matrix one to two, and uh, to frame three, using rotation matrix two to three. Then, so what do we have? We have, um, we have E X three, E Y three, E Z three. In other words, the uh, unit vectors of this frame will be equal to are two to three uh, unit vectors of frame two. And that's gonna be equal to R two to three. Um, and this itself is gonna be R one to two times EX one EY one EZ one and that's going to be equal to R two to three R one to two R zero to one EX naught EY naught EZ naught. Okay? That's basically EX three EY three EZ three. And this quantity this product of matrices is basically is going to be what we call R zero to three. Okay, the rotation matrix that takes us from frame zero to frame three is a product of these three matrices: zero to one, one to two, two to three. 
but in reverse order um, from right to left, okay? That's very important to remember or at least uh, be able to derive how this uh, comes about. Um, the order is super important. If you reverse the order, it's going to be a completely different matrix because rotation matrices are not commutative, okay? Commutative means if you change the order of rotations, um, you do not have um, the same matrix or the same rotation. So to think about commutativity or whether the order matters, uh, we shall explore this perhaps in a homework problem. Uh, but just imagine a book in your hand, first rotated about the x-axis and then rotated about the y-axis. It can be the global x-axis or the current x-axis, uh, doesn't matter. I'll let you think about this thing uh, for a while. And then, like I said, we shall develop this in a homework problem. Um, that's it for now. Uh, for this video, we shall develop the, um, these properties more in uh, various homework problems.